Well, good day everybody. It's lovely to be here in a, a virtual Fleetwood. Virtual Fleetwood. Oh. Yes, if you've not seen us before, my name's Graham. Uh, this is Bernadette, otherwise known as wife, and we go under the name Trouble at Mill. Okay, so you're probably looking at us and thinking, where do they come from and how old are they? Well, if you listen to the words of this first song carefully, you might just find out. We are the two Preston Mashers We often go out on the mash We wear no tall hats and no shirts to our back Seldom we have any cash We always bring out the new fashions While others they stick to the old And though we are just 27 and a bit We're handsome, stout, part and bold as we walk down the street, the style of perfection we never can repeat. The ladies declare that we are a treat. The two Preston Mashers from Aqueduct Street. And we dance, and we sing. We don't give a chop, we're a jolly fine lot. We're alright when we're tight, and we're jolly fine company. Last Saturday we were invited to the palais by two ladies fair. Their cheeks were in bloom like the roses in June, and we danced with that elegant pair. There was dancing and singing till midnight. There was whiskey, tobacco, and rum. And then, when the dancing was over, with those ladies we had lots of fun. And as we walk down the street The style of perfection we never can be beat The ladies declare that we are a treat The two Preston Nashes from Aqueduct Street And we dance and we sing We don't give a job, we're a jolly fine lot We're all right when we're tight And we're jolly fine company so much, thank you. Well, here we are in Fleetwood for the virtual folk and blues, and the uh, the virtual sand and the virtual sea. And I was going to get some virtual fish and chips, but Bernadette said <laughs> I can't have virtual fish and chips. She said because unfortunately that isn't virtual fat around your belly. So she said I've got to have a, a virtual salad instead. Uh, a couple of years ago we got booked at Horton Bowling Club for the, I think it was the centenary and I thought I've never heard a song about Crown Green Bowling so I remembered this story that my dad used to tell when he was the uh, secretary of the Larches Labour Club Bowling section over in Preston and uh, it was a president's day, I'd been invited, it was just an excuse for a few beers really but my dad stood up on the front table and told this story so I thought I'll put it to music. Uh, it's a bit spooky. We don't normally do this until after the nine o'clock watershed in case there's any children listening. Could uh, keep them awake it's all scary. night. It's called the Crown Green Ballers Prayer. Here we go. What will I do this Christmas if all the fuck is gone? I'll have to roll a few ends on me all. And I'll never forget a child. And all those games are gone Why did he have to leave me all alone? The Thursday afternoon routine Upon the castle bowling green Charlie sent the block over the ground Then he showed his wood to Ray Fun buyers to display With foot on mat he sent the first ball down Now the first two woods were true I'm sure that he was going to win Threw down his mat and turned to ball again But for the second leg He offed his finger peg And ignored those first few drops of heavy rain Now Friday comes before a ball To a Charlie never bowled that ball The lightning struck him square upon the head Ray grimaced at the flash 
was engaged on a mile of ash. Mouth open wide, his best friend Charlie dead. What will I do next to me? See me ball and fight and scum. I'll have to roll a few ends on me all. And I'll never forget him, Charlie. And all those games of bones. Why did he have to leave me all alone? Came around, raced up upon that patch of ground, the very spot where Charlie met his end. He shed a little tea, then he said this little prayer, as he said one down in memory of his friend. What will I do next Thursday with all the partners gone? I'll have to roll a few ends on me all. And I'll never forget it, Charlie. And all those games are gone. Why did he have to leave me all alone? Right, this is where it gets a bit spooky now. Then to raise surprise, he could not believe his eyes. Across the green, a blinding flash of light. And they're holding a wood, an apparition so. It was Charlie dressed all in angelic white. Charlie said, don't panic, Ray, I've just come back down to say, the bowling green's up there in Magnifique. Ray said, that's really good to know, but Charlie said, here comes the blow, God stopped you down for game of okay, the next week. What will I do next Thursday, you bowl in darkness gone, I'll have to roll a few ones on me all. And I'll never forget it, Charlie. And all those games are gone. Why did he have to leave me all alone? Why did he have to leave me on me alone? Thank you. The Crown Green for all this prayer. Hope you liked it. Uh, this next song is a song I wrote a number of years ago. It's about Bernadette's great, 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 great uncle. A man known as St Edmund Arrowsmith, although his real name was Brian Arrowsmith. Um, he was hung, drawn and quartered in Lancaster in 1628, basically for being a Catholic. He was one of the Lancashire Martyrs. Now, when I was at school, I knew nothing about the Lancashire Martyrs, apart from the names of one or two of the Catholic schools in the area. The only thing I knew is that um, Protestants used to get burnt in barrels by Catholics, and it depends which school you went to and sort of what side of the fence you're on, what, what you learnt in history and uh, really we were both as bad as one another weren't we and it's all about man's inhumanity to man and when you think about it uh, it wasn't much different than in those days here Not much changes. than what's going on in the Middle East <laughs> these days with different religious factions. It's called Treachery at the Blue Anchor of course Edmund was having a pint in the uh, a local pub the Blue Anchor when he got captured. Rest a while and tuck your fill And a tale to you I tell Of Edmund and his faithful ride From here to Helen's well Of Greg's and May's most famous son And the day his horse went down He was murdered for a point of view That differed from the crown Pardoned by his majesty to please the king of Spain. Returned to work with brindle folk, betrayed by so called -cool friends. He was captured or by ducks and hill when his hopes refused defense. Ride, ride, Edmund, your captors they draw nigh. Keep on the track and don't go back. 
disaster in the area that uh, affected everybody. Nobody knew what they were doing, where they were going, there was a blind panic, there were people literally tearing their hair out in panic and uh, I thought it deserves a song because the mainstream media missed it. And the song's entitled The Day They Altered All The Isles In Old Day. It's got a chorus if you want to join in. Oh, the day they altered all the aisles in old day. We wandered round like homeless refugees. We couldn't find the butter for our compass. And we couldn't find the packs of blanket trees. Customers screamed out in desperation. Why don't they leave things just the way they Yeah. 
Thompson classic uh, and we want to get, get it over with pretty quickly because we've got to go to the virtual um, North Houston Hotel for a virtual pint and a virtual glass of wine and then we're going to jump on a virtual tram and take it down the virtual promenade and hopefully get through the virtual uh, Blackwell illuminations before they virtually turn them off okay thanks a lot and uh, if we don't see you knocking around the town because I think we might be popping up during the weekend because there's bound to be something on somewhere we will um, Hopefully see you next year. Yes. Okay. So you'll all know this one, The Wall of Death. Let me ride on the wall of death one more time. Let me ride on the wall of death one more time. When you can waste your time on the other ride This is the nearest to being alive Oh, let me take my chances on the wall